Hey, I am going to show you that there's an atheist who wants to get away with evil when they die. So they claim that God is just a lie and that he's equivalent to the Easter Bunny or whatever. But I proved them wrong. So in the video, under the video, he tried to steal from a gun store. Someone said this that people defending themselves in the US are treated like criminals and criminals are rewarded that's how stupid the US is that's how stupid liberals are the US is a dumb atheistic secular country secular is a euphemism for atheistic that's why they have such low standards but there are atheist countries like North Korea with a higher standard of justice despite some cases of great injustice they at least don't let uh, carjackers to get away with it for example I said God will make them pay I didn't feel like proving this because if anyone challenged me I could prove it I just felt like saying that and then this person whose profile pic is literally darkness which is very suitable because they love darkness and they hate the light you know light like this <laughs> Although this is from an anime depicting the protagonist as the king of demons, basically, or a prince of demons. Anyway, that, that anime is really weird because there are some extremely noble aspects to it, and yet they mix it with satanic stuff. Anyway, they said, grow up for fuck's sake, and then he hits his face. That's just as childish as saying the tooth fairy will make them pay, and your god won't make them pay. Wow, you honor my god by capitalizing the G, thanks. <laughs> That's unusual. What we'll make them pay is everything that happens does so according to your god's will and divine plan. Psalm 95, God already wrote your destiny. Thus, a little part of this guy's destiny was stealing. This is odd. In his modern English, he uses the term thus, which is archaic sounding, and yet he quotes the Bible as talking like, a modern person what kind of version is that you know I, I don't recall reading this maybe it's because it doesn't exist it doesn't exist in the Bible so uh, someone responded before me saying you know he could smell his bullshit nowhere is this written anywhere in Psalms in fact this quote you said is never mentioned in the Bible 1 Corinthians 6.10 Nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. Then I said, false equivalency fallacy, since the tooth fairy isn't necessary to explain anything, but a supernatural mind is necessary to account for reason itself, as only minds can be rational. So this common argument by atheists comparing God to the tooth fairy is is a stupid argument. After commenting this, I went to sleep. I wake up and he has not responded yet. Anyway, even if he could respond, it's going to be a, a pathetic uh, pretending to have a point response like they always do. Uh, then I say, childish is your superstitious atheist alchemy that reason came from mindlessness. There's nothing stupider than atheism, that reason came from mindlessness. That's an implication of it, inevitably, you, you pseudo-intellectual atheist. And the other insane atheist myth that slime became Frankenstein. Give a plausible falsification scenario to prove it to be even scientific. Because you're going to be like, but scientists say it's real, so it's real. So gullible. Atheists are so gullible. They don't think for themselves, they are not free thinkers. Childish is your hypocrisy expecting me to believe you exist when I haven't seen you. Look at this comment. This is all the evidence I have that he exists. Besides experience with, actually, in most of my cases arguing with people online, I've never seen them. So that doesn't really count as evidence that they exist. I know they exist because only an idiot would say that such a level of order would arise mindlessly. Which is nothing compared to saying DNA whoops into existence. Atheism is stupider than saying that this was tied by a cat on a keyboard. Only an idiot would believe that. But that's atheism. So I don't see this person. And yet here they are expecting, expecting me to believe they exist. 
talking to me as if they're real. <laughs> as if I'm supposed to read this from a, and take it seriously. Uh, I take it seriously because intelligent design is rational, and they know it's rational. See, atheists live as if, as if, as if atheism were wrong. They live as if mind is necessary behind high levels of order. This isn't even that high of a level compared to DNA. So atheists are hypocrites every time they post shit. You know, they, they preach against intelligent design by intelligently designed shit posts. And I use the term intelligently loosely there. The body keeps the score. That's really weird. Anyway, back to this. Uh, so I challenge him here. Now, if they say yes, it would be rational, then they're saying that they're idiots because everyone knows there's no way a cat is going to type this and fit the context of the thread. That's like winning the lottery in every single, like each, each sentence is like winning a lottery. How are you going to get, you know, an impeccable phrase in English fitting the context? of an atheist pretending that my position is childish even though he's defeating himself just by making a comment because it's intelligently designed and he expects me to believe he exists when I haven't seen him hypocrite anyway where was it so and then if, if he says no it wouldn't be rational then he's saying mind is necessary behind that level of order let alone higher so he defeats himself if he says it would not be rational and he looks like an idiot if he says yes. If you're consistent as an atheist, you, look, you will look like an idiot. Even to other atheists. Because atheists know cats are not going to type that shit. No, Psalm 95 doesn't say that liar. You can check for yourselves. I'm not, I don't have to show you. God letting you choose to be a liar. Actually, I'm going to show you right now. Psalm 95. Let me open it up. Official King James version. King James was a heretic. Some say he was homosexual. I don't know. Regardless, the version of English here is really cool. So I I like this Bible, despite some flaws in translation. So what was it? Psalm ninety-five. Psalm ninety-five. They claimed. Well, let me go to their comment to make sure that's what they said. They said. They said, Psalm 95, God already wrote your destiny. Psalm 95, yeah, uh -huh, sure. Psalm. Ninety-five. Hold up. Six to go. See my series, Mario's the Devil. Psalm 95. And that's all he said. He didn't give a verse. Psalm 95. God already wrote your destiny. Really. Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us come before his presence. For he is great, a great king above all gods. All claims to be gods. In his hand are the deep places of the earth. This does not say thus far what he claims it says. God already wrote your destiny. See, the atheist is being exposed as a disgusting snake. The atheist is a filthy liar. And he will pay for it. Every breath you take, atheist, is more guilt accumulated, and you're going to have to pay on the day of wrath. God will resurrect you to eternal damnation. When you die, straight to hell. Because you're ingrates and liars. You want to get away with evil when you die. You know, the context of this is about people getting away with evil. You know, I say they won't get away with evil, and then the atheist is like, You're wrong! They will get away with evil! See, that's the, that's the read between the lines. This is the context. The atheist is defending evil. That's why you're an atheist, because you want to get away with evil when you die. You won't. And I proved it in my series uh, videos that I plan to cover in this video. Hold on. So what else did he say? God already wrote your destiny. Let's see if it says that. Um, the sea is his. Nope, doesn't say what he says. Oh, come, let us worship. Nope, doesn't say what he says. For he is our God today, if you will hear his voice. Harden not your heart. When your fathers tempted me, 40 years, I was grieved with his generation or race. This could be a mistranslation. And it said, it is a people that do err in their heart, and they have not known my ways. Actually, 40 years is pretty much the amount of time for a generation. So it actually could be an accurate translation. Anyway, unto whom I swear my wrath that they should not enter my rest. And that's all there is for Psalm 95.
And nowhere in Psalm 95 does it say God already wrote your destiny. So the atheist is an absolutely disgusting liar. And they're going to keep hitting themselves when they go to hell. So there you go. Proof faith is a liar. And then uh, I said, God letting you choose to be a liar and atheist ingrate, incorporating your chosen mistakes into his plan, doesn't mean you can escape judgment. Non sequitur fallacy. You still had the choice and thereby the guilt. You most certainly will pay if you don't repent. I did a video with, with five proofs for God. And another proving the Bible right by its prophecy on Europe conquering the world, which gave more details than just that. So it was an, an actually narrow bullseye which means it wasn't so vague that it would inevitably come true. It would have to be a miracle for that to happen. You act confident, but atheists are my specialty, because I grew up in the U.S., which tried to make me an atheist in the indoctrination centers, but I'm a free thinker, so I question the, the bullshit they inculcate into unsuspecting kids and adults. That's why I didn't fall for most of their lives. I did fall for dinosaurs because I was a little boy when, when that entered my mental kingdom, so after I let it in, the gates were closed and I didn't see it as an enemy because it was already inside my realm. I didn't see it as a threat from outside, it was already inside. But it took a while, I eventually did examine my denizens and then I kicked them out because I saw they were working for the enemy. You act confident but atheists are my specialty, I will see you crumble fast, be sure to unequivocally answer my challenges. So after going to sleep and waking up, they haven't responded, even if they respond, they have nothing and there's no way that they can justify lying about what Psalm 95 says. Their hypocrisy of expecting me to, to believe they exist, etc. I challenged them, I checkmated them, bam. <laughs> so he won't be laughing on Judgment Day when God will crush his disgusting atheist pride. Good riddance when God kills the ingrates. Repent or burn forever.